So you've got yourself a Canon M200 and you'd like to use it for live streaming or for recording with your computer like what I'm doing right now and you're not quite sure how to turn on the clean HDMI on this camera or how to keep that back screen on for a longer period of time. Well, today we're gonna to show you exactly how to do that here in the Canon M200 settings. It's really quite simple to do. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So I've got the Canon M200 turned on here and you can see all the information is showing up on the screen. So the clean HDMI is not turned on. Once we turn the clean HDMI on, all that information, the times, everything like that will disappear. Then we'll move on to showing you how to keep this back screen on for a longer period of time. Now you can keep that on for up to half an hour and then you have to push a button for it to turn back on. But the cool thing is it doesn't stop your live stream or your recording, the screen just shuts off. So you can live stream for much longer than half an hour if you do want to. So on the camera itself, there's a little dial at the top here. Make sure this is set to the movie mode, not the picture mode, but the movie mode. Then we can move on to the back here where you'll find a little circle and you can click back and forth, left and right on that. There's a star, a flash. You can go up and down with that. That's how we're gonna navigate the menu system. And in the middle, there's a little button that says Q set. That's our okay button. So back and forth, up and down, you can hit Q set. And to get into our menu, let's go ahead and click the menu button. So in the Canon menu itself, I'm running the standard menu display. If yours doesn't look the same, you might be running the guided menu display. To get to the standard menu display so you can follow along, just head to the top right hand corner, navigating left and right to where there's the little camera icon with the little guy. You can go ahead and hit OK or the Q set button. And in here you're looking for where it says menu display guided. Just go ahead and hit OK there and you can go down to standard there and just hit OK and it will switch you over to the standard menu. So let's go ahead and turn on the clean HDMI. So navigating left and right on your camera go all the way over to the camera icon in the top left hand corner. The color will switch to a burgundy type color and you'll see numbers right below that now, one through six, and you can navigate left and right. Go to the number five here and it'll bring up the menu where you can select at the very bottom for myself, it says HDMI info display. So you can go up and down here until you get HDMI info display. Go ahead and hit OK on that or the Q set button and it's going to take you right into where you can turn on clean HDMI. So right now it's set to with info. So that's all the info on the screen. You can do clean 4K output as well as clean FHD output. And this is your typical 1080p um, clean HDMI. And this is what I would typically use for most of my filming. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And now you can see it says HDMI info display FHD and let's exit here and you can see that all the info is gone from the screen that was there before. So that would be how you would turn on the clean HDMI on the Canon M200. So back here in the Canon settings, the next thing I want to show you is how to keep that back display on for a longer period of time while you're live streaming. So let's go ahead and navigate again. You can go left and right all the way over to the wrench here at the top. It's kind of got some yellow accents and you'll see numbers one through five below that. And we're looking for the option number two. Once you see option number two, you can go up and down. And what you're looking for is the power saving option here. Go ahead and select that with the Q set button or the okay button. And you'll see an option in here that says display off. Mine's currently set to three minutes. And this is where we would change this to a higher number. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. You can select anything from 15 seconds all the way down to 30 minutes. Now, the cool thing is once you reach 30 minutes, it's only the screen that turns off. You can continue to live stream beyond that. And if you want the screen to turn back on, just tap a button and it'll come right back on. So we're gonna go ahead and select 30 minutes. And it's really that simple to turn on your display screen for a longer period of time when you're streaming. So that's again under the power saving mode as well as to turn on the clean HDMI on your Canon M200 camera. So I hope this tutorial helped you out in turning on your clean HDMI and keeping that back screen on on your Canon M200. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. 
Also remember to connect with me on social media. You'll find all those links below in the description. I'd love to connect with you. Make sure to subscribe here on YouTube and click that bell notification so you're notified of any upcoming videos. It's totally free and I would love to have you join the Northern Viking community. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.